Oh, what in the buckets is this? No way. Are you, no. The stolen last software. Why is it always, always do it before dinner? Every time we turn the TV down and sit down. One, two, up there. Oh, you want to eat dinner? You want to, you want to eat dinner? Oh no, guess what you're going to do? You're going to software update. Mm. Every time, every time I want to sit down, I have a dinner done and ready to go. Every time. Are you doing okay there, Buckets? No! Are you having a Probably. Happy Sunday, everybody. How are you doing today? Welcome to Buckets Garage. Thanks for joining me again. Today, what we're gonna work on today, we have this Dell power supply. Can you see that? Can you see it? See it? It's a Dell out of a server. Server power supply. Now, this is, you know you get old and you need glasses. This one is 60 amps, 60.5 amps to be exact, 12 volts. So you guys, if you like working on CB radios, ham radios, or anything electronic uses 12 volts, these make a nice power supply. I've got one already made up. Uh, this one I actually gave to a friend. I got a bunch of these. I gave them to him and I told him how to do it. Well, he he tried. He's like, did you do it for me? I'm just gonna burn it up. I, I, I'll make a video out of it, I told him. You can watch the video. So, that's what we're gonna do. On a Dell power supply, these things are great. And I'm gonna show you how to hook one up. But, see the Antron over there? That's only a 25 amp. When I bought that thing, it was like 150 bucks. This, five dollars. Five bucks! And who cares if I burn it up? But you can put a fuse in there. Let's get into this. Let me show you how to hook one of these up. We're gonna show you a cheap way to make some, you can even check car parts with it, you know, like lights and car radios and, yeah, you know what I mean. All right, let's get into that. All right, now this power supply, this Dell, this one is a 750W. You can see it's uh, 12 volts right up here. 60 amp, 0.5. They even got bigger ones than that. They come in all different sizes. And you can find these on eBay or probably even Facebook or Go to some of your electronic recycle places, you might be able to find them. So, right here is your, uh, if you go four in, and this is the bottom side, that's the top side. Now, I can tell he did it like what he's supposed to, sort of, but I'm not really sure. It looks like he kind of gouged the wire, the thing up here. Let me uh, zoom in on that right there. Okay, so I'm going to point it out. On the bottom side, don't worry about this this one right here right now. You don't have to worry about this, this, or that one at the moment. But you want to go to your fourth one in. That's right here. Your fourth one in, right here. Fourth pin. That's the bottom side. Now, you go to the top side. You go four in, one, two, three, four, right here, number four. It looks like he had that right. He must have had it shorted out here in between the two, I could see. He gouged it here to cut those off. But you want to go one, two, three, four. And what we're going to do here, guys, is to put a switch. We're gonna. It's actually a jumper, but I like to put a switch on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to get solder a nice wire onto this here. And the same with the other side, the fourth one in. Here's your fourth one here. 
and four. We're going to jump those two. Well, actually, what we're going to do, in fact, uh, let's just jump right into it. Instead of me, I have this nice little micro switch. You could get these on B-Bay. It's a double throw. You can get a single throw as well. <clears throat> Let me zoom in on that so you can see the brand name of this one. Looks like it's 2 amp, 5 amp, 250 volts, 120 volts AC. You can use it in DC. I think that side says the same thing. Nope, nope. This is C and K. Made in USA. Ooh. Okay, but anyway, I had the switch. I already had this thing wired up. Ready to go. So what we're going to do, let me show you how we're going to wire this bad boy up. Oh, yeah, and the most important thing here, guys, when you're done... This side here is your positive side, looking at the top side. This side is going to be your negative, closest to the area where you're going to put your switch. So that's a whole surface there of your gold surface. And there's a gold surface. There's a little break right here. A little break. Negative, positive. And that's the same on the other side. That side's going to be negative. That's going to be positive on here. Okay? And I'll show you what we'll do with that. Okay, as long as I'm not bumping the camera for you guys. i tell you what, these are really cool to do. Now, you get yourself a little wire. This wire here is from the data cable wire. But you can use anything that has, it's got a stiff wire in it. It's a single strand. I like using these single strand wires. Make sure your tip's nice and clean, guys, because mine's kind of dirty right now. I'm going to go ahead and hit that right there. Get a nice little... Make sure you don't short out in between, guys. You don't want to short out in between these two. I, I'm, I don't think it'll hurt anything, but just good rule of thumb was not to short out between them, unless you do what my buddy did and try to cut those off. But yeah, you put one jumper there. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to flip it over to the other side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that real nice. Bend it over. We'll strip it. I need to find myself a tiny little stripper. And I need a little stripper. Then... Yeah, you know what? Just probably got plenty of solder on there. So what I want to do is I'm going to hold this there. I don't burn my fingers. Yeah, I knew that was going to do that. Got a little hot and that rubber come off so we're just going to trim it like that and make sure it's under good all right looking good I'll tell you what I'm working with this tiny tiny stuff here try working on a cell phone i've done it once and i could do that again and i can see that's not quite attached what I'm going to do is get, uh, now this is 60-40 solder, and I got a little bit of uh, flux here. Put a dab of flux. 
You want to get a nice surface there. There, look at that. That's nice and clean. And the rubber has come off again. I'm a perfectionist a little bit here. Sorry, guys. Here we go. All right. Now we have that done on both sides. Let me back off here. All right. So the fourth pin on this side and the fourth pin on the other side right now is jumped. All right. Now that we have it jumped. Now on the back side, there's a little light right here. So if you, if you power it up. Fire it up. Fire it up. Nope, nope, nope. I can do that. As you can see, it'll stay green. And you'll know when you have those two right because it'll turn yellow. It'll take a minute. And see, it just turned yellow. Now, just for the fun of it, I want to show you. On the meter, right now, you're not going to get nothing. It's zero, zero, zero. So, now, that's where the third wire, right here, the third one here, is going to come in handy. So, what we're going to do... That's where I'm going to hook up a switch. I'm going to juice these wires up a little bit here. Put a little bit of solder on them. Get them ready to go. What I'm going to do now is turn the light back on. We will solder one here. Nice clean solder. And then we're just gonna do one right next to it. Quick tap, and that should do that. Turn off the soldering gun. All right, and now what we're gonna try. Plug the power supply back in. I'm gonna have to back this out a little bit. My camera's half broken, guys. I don't know how, but the lens is broke. I'll watch this. If I zoom all the way out, see that? How it's all cloudy looking? It's broken to one side. And there it's not. So, anyway, I got a new lens on order. <laughs> so, as you see, the yellow light is on. Turn the switch on. Now it's green. Now that means we should be having the 12 volt power here. Let's try it again. Twelve point forty one, and there we have juice. Now, if you want, there's other things you can do. What I'm going to do here is we're going to mount this switch, so we're going to make a nice little power supply out of this. So let's. Uh, let me show you how I'm out to switch on this one. Not really sure if you guys want to even see all this, but hey, this is a really cool thing, man. Make yourself a power supply. And you could probably put this inside a box, or if you get some kind of cover to put over the front of this, maybe an old container, plastic container that's around this size. Just cut that container. You can slide it over. That way nothing gets shorted out. But well, let's let's do this first. Let's take this cover off. This side looks like has two 
two really small Phillips screws on this side. One, two, three. Three on this side. Let's get these off. Typically, there's one up here, but it looks like my buddy had taken that one off. So, and then the cover gently comes off like this. Now, remember, guys, I've said this in the past. Don't get your fingers in here because these capacitors hold a tremendous amount of juice, and it can shock the crap out of you. Oh, yeah. So, don't get your fingers in there. Don't get your screwdrivers poking inside there. You know, unless it's off for a long time. Just so you know. Just letting you know. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to take this cover and I'm going to mount that switch right here. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like a good spot right there because it's going to be out of the way right here. So I think I'm going to mount that switch just like that. So let me mount this switch, guys. I'll be right back. I'm going to find a couple washers to put on there. That way you've got a switch on the front. And I'll show you when this is all done because right here, there looks like there's plenty of room. I can put that switch right here. All righty. Let me zoom in on you so you can see. All right, I'll be right back. All right, guys, got it all done. Power on, power off. What we're going to do is we're going to solder on a couple wires here. So let me find myself some hard wire. Okay, I got some nice wire here. A little long, but you probably want to make a fuse for it. You don't want to short it out. So you're going to want to put a fusible link in there. You can do whatever you want, but this is just the way I'm going to do it for now. But I suggest a fuse, just so you don't short it out. Because you know accidents do happen. Now I'm going to take the 6040 solder. Put it right in the middle. Solder on the board here. A couple spots there. And get some solder on the, the wire here. Let us do that. Put that one there. My big old fingers are in the way again. Well, that's not the neatest in the world. A little crooked. But that gets us by for the moment. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hook the power supply up. And we're going to hook a CB up to it. See how well that sucker works. All right, guys. Yeah, sorry about the camera work here. I kind of stink at it, like I said. And guess what? Guess what? It's Friday night, and it's wing night again. Yeah, boys. Wing night, my favorite night. Camera girl's up there making those wings right now. Oh. Another another 30 minutes, guys, and I'm going to be sitting down eating those wings. Mm, mm, mm. She and I enjoy that every Friday. So, okay, <laughs> back to what we're doing here. All right, so here's the radio. We got this wiring nightmare kind of hooked up at the moment. I think I'm going to put a fusible link in here. I'll do a few other things to it, but I just wanted to show you guys exactly 
how to use one of these power supplies. All right, so we got the power on. There we go. Roger, McDadger. It's working just fine. Yep, -er. It's working pretty good. Man, you can probably hook that up to a toaster. <laughs> All right. There you got it. A Dell power supply made into a 12 volt, 60 amp power supply. There's a 12 volt, 60 amp power supply for you. Well, you guys, that'll do it for today. Hopefully that's gonna come very handy and useful for you guys for the Dell power supply. 12 volt, 60 amp. You know, they all come in different sizes, like I said. It's, it's, it's a no brainer. It's, it's, it's an easy power source. Thanks again for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Matter of fact, I can hear my wings. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh, I'm hungry. Yeah, buddy. Well, you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Enjoy it. And hey, don't forget, please uh, like. That's not a like. That says subscribe, don't it? Yeah. There's like. Don't forget to do that, too. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys. We'll see you again next time on Bucket's Garage. We'll see you. Take care. And rock on. That was James Forever. Ah!